the passion of Christ. Why did Jesus go through all that suffering? The agony in the garden, the scourging at the pillar, the crowning with thorns, the carrying of the cross, him being nailed to the cross, hanging on the cross for those long hours, shedding every drop of his precious blood, and dying a shameful death. Why did he go through all of that? St. Ignatius gives us these reasons. First reason is to give us a keen awareness of the gravity of sin. That sin is no joke. For that reason, the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius, he spends a block of time called the first week of the exercises after principle and foundation, meditating upon sin from God's perspective, the effects of sin, and the capital sin, sin within us, culminating in a general confession which is liberating ourselves from our sins. So spending a huge block of time on the meditation of sin in the spiritual exercises points to the fact that sin is serious and that's one of the principal reasons why Jesus chose to die on the cross to show us the true gravity of sin. <clears throat> but even more so, Jesus died on the cross to show us the depths of his love. His love for all of humanity. But also his depth, the depths of his love for all of us individually. If Jesus had to go through his passion again, with all the excruciating pains that were involved in it, he would go through it again for you even if you were the only person in the whole world. He shed his precious blood for you as if you were the only person in the whole world. How precious you are in the eyes of God. And how important your soul is. As you read in sacred scripture, we're not redeemed by the blood of lambs, nor have we been redeemed through gold and silver, but we have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So let us praise and thank Jesus for having gone through his passion for you and for me, but to make a firm purpose to renounce sin in our lives and to love God with all of our hearts.